change the way I do arm walks. A lot of you guys think that, so if I go here, right, I got his arm reasonably here. If my left leg is here, I'm on his shoulders, and he's gonna be able to stack me, and now he's gonna be able to either pull that arm out, or that he's going to start stacking me, pushing my knee to my head, and passing to the right. to arm locks is to control the head. The right leg that's under the arm controls the posture and the shoulders. The left leg has to control the head because when you bring that head down, your legs should be across the crown, not his shoulders because that's his power right here. This is weak because this controlled by these muscles, the shoulders is all back and everything. So as I'm here and I go this way here, look right here, chop and chop right here, okay? And I'm pulling, so can you lift your head up? Okay, and here I can guide it to the mat, lift him up, okay? And then finish him here. But this right here chops the head. So one more time, so you guys can understand it, okay? As I go up here, he keeps his head low, okay? He doesn't want to get swept, he postures up, right here. This one is still tilting in here. I can take this hand out, Scoop right here, pull it, you can finish here. Okay. So this leg has to pinch. The other key detail is the knees have to pinch. So as I'm here, pull them in. As I get here, the knees pinch right here so that I can begin to control them right here. Can you, pull, can you get your head up? <coughs> can you get your head up? Yep. You see it right there? Um, it's, it's, it's no good right here. Don't ever do that. Okay. And look right here. So you test it. Here. Here. Lift your head up. And I have to engage my hips. Okay. The hips are everything. If your hips are on the mat, you're foldable. If your hips are off the mat, your lower body is engaged using your core. One last time. So break it as posture in here, look. Here and here. It's a done deal right here. Here, here. Okay, try it. One, two, three.